something else. So he's been rocking that Sidra for an ill minute now. Uh, and he got that Black History Month buff as well. So it's all good. All right. Let's get into this game right here. We got the core out, bro. It's kind of, kind of. I'll say this is the first one we've seen so far that has uh, been a little, little different than what we've been uh, watching so far. There's been a lot of Boulevard, you know. You definitely saw some scythe out here. But the core, yeah, you know, a oh. uh, relatively oh. strong character. Oh, yeah. I was to say relatively strong character, but it may not even matter. Relatively strong character for sure, though. It has an easy combo with the down, uh, down light into in sig mm -hmm. with the hammer, so he can rack up some damage relatively quickly. But uh, issue with Corey is he's kind of slow. And that just don't be working out for him yeah, so well. Yeah, don't got the drift like some of the other characters do, but he got enough. You know, he's hanging in there. And oh my god, Heisen just kind of really capitalizing on his punishes here. He just tries to take as much as he can, and he's been able to get away with it. We saw in that first stock, he was able to get that down sig uh, into a weapon toss to able to secure that one out. We saw Polyshot get hit with that down sig quite a bit earlier as well. That Bovar sword down sig just so good as an offstage guarding tool. But Machete answering back here has the hammer in hand. We're going to see if he's going to try to switch over to the... Not let's to rack up damage. Looks like right now he's doing just fine, actually, with his hammer, though. Hit after hit, every blow really racks it up, man. Mm. I think it's, like, somewhere from between, like, 9 and 11 damage or something on that stomp. And then Sayer's, like, 21 damage, 22. So, like, every hit really do be hitting dummy hard. So, if you're able to line it up, hey, stick with it. Wow, that spacing. Right, oh, my well, gosh. Woo! Him line it up and stick he just stood still. We even want to line up and take one of the nice stuff right there. Gets the easy stomps there. We're going to see that quite a bit, especially in this matchup. Both hammers and Sayer just being so powerful. Either way, though, like, look at the, the way he got that lead. He lost that stock first, and he has just very much cleaned up this game since then. Not getting the Sayer there. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want the Sayer that early. This time he is going to get the Sayer. Actually, no, he should have hit it to the, to the left. For oh. Sure. oh, you tried it. Just spooked him. Actually just spooked him. That was tough. Okay. All right, last talk scenario. This game's going by, it feels like it's been going by pretty quick. I mean, it's been you know, about two minutes, a little bit more than that. And we're ready on the last talk here. Machete the Gauntlet's here. We haven't seen too much Gauntlet gameplay from yeah. him in. It's going to be definitely an interesting one for sure. So let's see how this one works out as we uh, move into this game. My boy Core, aka Machete, taking that first one uh, before the break. Now we got Heisen. Still fighting his way out here. Different color of the Bodvar, but. Still same character, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Core, though, I mean, like, as you said, yeah, this character, with the way that the meta is kind of shaped right now with the gauntlets being super nice and obviously Hammer still being, uh, like, Oh, my Hammer gosh. God, every time. Catches everybody with it. Every set, bro. <laughs> At least one a everybody. game. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was, I mean, I didn't even get to finish my sentence about the, you know, about <laughs> Core and how you know, we might see more of him, but I think we're going to see less of this Core right now with that, that down stick hitting. <laughs> Here we go. And that's just like, that's just how the cookie crumbles, man. That's just like a, a chump checker, right? Like, bro, if you're just like jumping yeah. around the, the corner of the ledge, you know what's coming. Oh, oh, you're scared now, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Is he gonna let it out? You don't know. Woo! Dancing on him right now. Heisen, this break, a little bit of break seemed to kind of revitalize my boy. He must have to go get some water or something. Yeah, he hydrated up. I'm a little parched. Oh, he missed Hold that up. true combo. Feels bad. Oh, burn the dodge there. No, nice. That was beautiful. Nice. He didn't have a recovery because he used it to get high enough, and he burned the dodge immediately for the weapon throw, so it was easy to get that stomp into ground pound. Rather, not stomp, but a slide kick into ground pound there. And that machete, going to see if he can bring it back. Already got quite a bit of damage, and Corby hitting dummy hard, so we're going to see if he gets like an end light here. Nope. Recovery not going to KO. He can probably take another recovery as well. If it comes after a D-light, though, it might be just enough damage. Nice. Damn. Ooh. Okay. Double Ooh. dribble. Oh, okay, all right. Ooh. See, that, that was Ooh. a little bit of a bet, but I'm, you know, I'm down He's for it. He still got it, though. The scoop up. Maybe that wasn't that bet, and that was just a conditioning because he he couldn't grab the ledge, and so that made it easy for him to line up that recovery and pull him back down after that. Or couldn't grab the wall. I'm with it, bro. Let's. I am with it. I am with it. And this is a this is a way this is a way to get a little bit of a lead from. Him. Unfortunately, that lead gonna get sapped immediately with the the old tried and true down stomp or a stomp into the sair. Real easy. It's crazy how quickly this game turned around, though. Like, this started off with Machete instantly losing his stock. We saw Heisen. We were saying he was getting 
was dancing on Machete, and then Machete was like, yo, bro, it don't matter, <laughs> like, at all. Now, he still has the damage lead here, gets a Falling Stare for a punish, throwing out those stomps to try to get something off stage. Oh, yeah, not gonna... Man, like that, like that rolling back instead of rolling forward back and trying to get that um, oh. off stage, you know, just another one. Ooh. You can see the difference of power of that one, too, man. That first one was like, dang, and that second one, Doof. it even sounded louder. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, you can just kind of enlighten and stomp here. Oh, if you did that the other way, it would have hit. Yeah, ooh, okay. Three piece right there. Hammer feet as well. Oof, that, that weapon throw was nice. Me. Didn't hit, but it was I'm going somewhere. Gonna throw this weapon, too. You're going to down tick? No, you just... Come back and like and send him off stage. He's had so much damage here. Right. Yeah, I don't think he touched. Uh, wow, that was a down air. Yeah. Come on, bro. Uh, <laughs> like, down air, ground, ground pound, pound, like down anything. Air, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> like something, a weapon throw. Like, <laughs> oh man, giving Heisen another chance. At this point, I mean, can, I was gonna say, I was like, gonna pick up that hammer, bro. Like, <laughs> it's right there waiting for you. And for sure, he does. Picks it up immediately. Does a falling there. Heisen gets sent zooming. Uh, blasting off again like he's Team Rocket. And now we're going to game number three here. This is looking like it's going to be a 3-0, though. I mean, we've been saying that, you know, for EU, it rarely goes that way. But I feel like looking at these two players go up against each other, I, I, I am not confident in Heisen's ability to bring this back. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know, man. I just, I feel like because it's EU, I'm expecting at least Heisen to get one game. But I don't know, man. Machete is just... Like when the when the momentum is on his side, you can feel it, you know. And I, I just haven't really got that from uh, Heisen yet, except for that first play in the second game with the, with the down sig. Like outside of that, I'm just you know we're not seeing it right now. Okay, let's see here. I'm looking at the the in-game lobby as well. Heisen's like, yo, EU brothers, give me your energy. And then uh, <laughs> it looks like Simple's like, all right. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see if if Simple's energy is enough to to carry Heisen to victory. Um, he said, go Bryn. So, looks like he's following the advice here. Hashtag coaching. <laughs> and we'll, see, uh, we'll see if it's enough. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, you know, dude, Bryn, yeah. Just, that's all. Yeah. Bryn, yeah. yeah. I'm never going to yeah. be mad at that. Two, one, yeah, I, can't, like, I feel like I can't be mad at it. You know, this character really just does, does things. This character ain't, ain't messing around. So... With that being said, though, hopefully this uh, Brent is what he needs. To at least get a game here. Oh, if he can land. There we go. Side light and light. Pretty solid conversion there. Going to see. He needs to be able to... This is the tough part because you really like using side light in, uh, in neutral is kind of tough. Um, just because usually it's more used as a like, kind of punish tool. But if you're able to like break that space well enough. Hold on. The spear looking good. One more pogo. Now going to wait on stage. Condouncing there if you wanted to. That's the thing. If someone's a little bit behind you, just let that sig fly, bro. Don't even think twice about it. Oh, hey. that's two. Scoop, you're gone. Down. Weapon throw off the side. Yeah. Here. Yep. Okay. That's it. Yeah, it was just enough. It was just enough. Just enough. Got the recovery and everything, too, so that was a big pickup for that weapon toss. Didn't have to uh, commit too hard for it. And kept his weapon, too, so that's got to feel good. That was a super huge bait. Why did you not expect that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> man, man, just chilling on a soft platform. Like, nice. All right. One in KO. All right. No dodge on Machete here, but we're going to see Heisen go pick up a weapon. I don't hate this option, but he needs to find the final blow. You're going to be fishing for Sairs a lot here. You can go for end light or D lights until they KO at this point. You don't have to hard fish for the Sair like we see him going for. It makes your neutral very linear. Just D light. Just, just throw it out. That move's not reactable. It's quick. It'll cover the same thing as doing like a jump nair. And there we go. Finally gets the Sair, but I feel like people often fall into this pit in their brain with like, I need to find the Sair. I need to find the Sair. And it's like, yo, Axe has other moves that will KO. Like, <laughs> just do the safe Bouncing option. on him. Oh, that could have been an end light. There we go. Dodges up. Couldn't catch the landing there, but still not bad. Another side light nair set up. Goes for the ground pound there, knowing that Machete dodged up last time. So it was a pretty safe read to go for here that he do it again. Whew. <laughs> Damn. I mean, like, what was he? What was he gonna do? Like, yeah, that was that was just way too much pressure, man. Between the like him charging that, like, where is he gonna throw it? And then immediately after you finally uh, use your your recovery to get close to the stage, like, I'm right here. 
that's tough because like you can't you can't dodge until you see him throw it so then you're playing the game of like can i react fast enough and then it's like all right yeah. i did and then it just makes the ground pound that much easier wow that didn't ko he's still living though i'm surprised my boy corset what's up i'm in a suit of armor what you think Ground pound. Oh, it isn't sent to the right though, so not gonna be able to get this edge guard. Can get the stage positioning though. Oh wow, you just oh. you just you goofed. <laughs> you just goofed. Yeah, that was the, too much drift. Too much drift. Right. Too much dip on your chip right there. You I'm know? saying, bro, you thought you were Lucian. Yeah, you thought you had the speed for that. <laughs> nice. If he dodges down now, if he dodges down again, that means Heisen can go for side light nair. Gravity cancel side light nair again. If Machete falls into a habit here. Okay. Uh oh. Scoop. Wait a minute. Uh oh. This could be. This is probably yeah. it. Yeah. He, just such an easy edge guard right there for Machete. Like he's he's got that down to a science. The the wide weapon toss, but it's like not so wide that it's gonna go over your head. It just covers a really good angle. And then of course that like where are you gonna go? Like I've already hit you too far down. You only have this much wall to work with. I'm here for the ground pound. The three zero from Machete closing us out today or at least our block out today for uh for for you know <laughs> just just for the winter championships and just in general like just for the culture i guess man that man really just 